All right, welcome back. In this video, we'll be looking at <coughs> how characters are represented in memory. So, the previous videos, we considered how numbers are represented in memory. So, our focus will be how characters are represented in memory. So, we, as, as we know, we have several character representation formats, which include ASCII format. We have the ASCII. We stands for American Standard Code for Digital Interchange. We ask for DCD, the binary coded decimal. We also have the EB, the EB as well. So the EB as well, which is extended binary coded decimal. No, please important for us to know that among these three coding systems, the ASCII code ranks as the most most common encoding system. Oh, so we. So we have a table, an ASCII table, which um, we ask you to take note of. Or we have given you before now, just take note of the ASCII table. To, so for example, we are giving a value, a value system of, for example, you are giving, represent the term Becky, B-E-C-K-Y, using ASCII format. So we had a question before us. We are asked to represent Becky using ASCII format. All right. So what we're going to do first? We're going to write out the words. I think we also have the B, the, the A, the C, and the K, Y. So let's get. So we're going to look up in our our, ask, our table ASCII table. So, as we all know, that 65, which is capital A. So, for us to get our B, just add 1 to 8. So, our B, capital B, is 66. So, the axis value of B is 66. The axis value of E is 69. The axis value of C is 67. The 67. The axis value of K. The axis value of axis value of k is seventy five, and the axis value of y is eighty nine. So eighty nine. So having gotten that, so that's the first thing we're gonna do. The next thing we're gonna convert this thing to get the binary binary equivalent to convert it into a binary form. To get the equivalent of this 66. So, for us, how to convert to binary these values. So, if you remember, to convert to binary, normally divide all these values by 2. So, it is to get your value. So, 2 divided by this will give us 33 remainder 0. This will give us 16 remainder 1. This will give us to give us 8 remainder 0, this will give us 4 remainder 0, this will give us 2 remainder 0, this will give us 1 remainder 0, and this will give us 0 remainder 1. So we have, the other half is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. So we have 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. That's for that. So, so we do likewise for others. You get the other equivalent for those values. You divide them by base two. Another format to do so is using our our base value. So we said for the base value for seven, we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so will give us one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. 64. Now we are looking for 69. Which combination will give us 69? Of course, 64 will give us so as 64 plus 4. That will be 68, then plus 1. That will be 69. So, fill up the other ones with 0. So, for 69 becomes 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, that's for 69. You can also use the normal method to confirm. Divide 69, let's divide by 69 by 2 and see what we do. So we 
that guy that is going to have is to get is if is thirty four, which is number one. Then to thirty four, we're going to have seventeen. We number zero. Then to be eight. We number one. So this will give us four. We number zero. This will give us two. We number zero. This will give us one. We number zero. This will give us zero. We number one. So we also have one zero 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 one zero one. Which is the same with it. So let's keep using the bit value. So using the bit value system again for 67. 67 will give us 64 plus 2 plus 1. Okay, 64 plus 2 plus 1. Let's see which value we have because 64 plus 2 plus 1. That means 64 plus 2 plus 1. That will give us 67. What I want to do is zero. So we have for 67 we have 1. Zero 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 one one. Then for the next one seventy five, for seventy five, for seventy five, we got to have sixty four plus sixty four plus eight will give us seventy two. Seventy two plus two will give us seventy four plus one seventy five. Other ones we put it in the complete with zero. So for 75, we have 100011. The next one is 89. For 89, what's the number of 89? That means we're going to have 64 plus 15. We give us 80 plus 8. We give us 88 plus 1. That's 89. So that one's with 0. So that one's with 0, we have. One zero one one zero zero one. So having got in this binary computer, the best thing for us to do is to write out all the solutions against each other. So Becky, Becky, the character Becky will be represented as that would be the first one. One zero 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 one zero. One zero 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 one zero one one zero 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 one one. You see, continue on that here. So we have one zero zero one zero one one. So we have zero one one zero zero one. So the character that you get in binary in memory using this part. So that's how to do that. It's also possible that we give you this binary value and we are being asked to what is the equivalent, which value they test to do. So we are giving this value and we are asked to say what does this value represent. So what you're gonna do is that you will write out these values starting from the there in the group of sevens. So in the group of sevens, we start writing it out one zero zero one one zero. One zero zero one one zero. So we got the first one. The second one we have one one zero one zero zero one. Then we talk, we'll continue writing again in group of seven. Then we have again one one zero 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 one one. Then what we have zero one zero 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 zero. zero. So this one, so this we have, we have one one zero one. This one we have one zero one zero 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 one. The last one we have is one zero 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 one zero. So uh, when you write them out in group of seven, the next thing you're gonna do is to find their decimal equivalent. So when you find a decimal equivalent, so this one represents this is 64, 64 plus one, 64 plus one. No, no, this is no, this is one. This is two. That's three plus eight. That's eleven. Eleven plus this is going to give us our value, which is so the last value we have. This gives us this gives us. 64 
plus 16 plus 64 plus 8. 4 plus 8 is 72. That for that for now. So we have that. Let me see. We have wrote it from the back. So this gives us the sum. So this one gives us 75. This, this is 64. This is 64 plus 16. That's that's 80, 88, 89. This gives us 89. So this comes, this gives us, this gives us 64, 66. This one gives us 65. This gives us 67. This gives us 64. This one gives us 67. This is our 67. This gives us 64 plus 5. That's this is 64. 64 plus 4. That's 68. This will give us 69. And this gives us 64 plus 3. This gives us 66. So we're going to look at our table. Look at our table in the report. We wrote our answer this way. Looking at our table, this gives us. 89 is y from our AC table. This is so we have so the values that we have. Remember, so we have 89, which is y. So our 67 is 3. Our 75.5 is k. Our 69, our 69 is 3. We call how we wrote down the value, but written upside down. So it was supposed to be wrote it y k e y k e e e. So we write it the right the right way. So we're going to have the right way. We have b b c k y. So the question on that becky that actually come upside down. Peter giving the, the character to give us the ASCII format or to give us ASCII format to give us the character. See you in a subsequent video. Thank you.